Is 3D printing a water bottle cage a viable option? To test that, today I've got four different torture tests that will simulate things that could happen to you on a bike. But I don't just want to see how the 3D cage performs. I wanna compare the performance of this to four other water bottle cages. We got a plastic one, a metal one, my favorite cage of all time, the specialized rib cage, and then this magnetic thing that will definitely survive all the tests. So for test number one, we're gonna simulate something bad happening with the bottle in the most common position right here on the down tube. But first, I gotta build a rig to hold these. Nice. Oh yeah. I don't know what made me think I needed this to be slotted. I literally could have just screwed this to this longer board and had the exact same thing. But this is built now, so let's see if we use it. First test, going down the stairs. Call it a success. No issues at all. No signs of stopping. Aluminum cage next. Away! That seems to have held on. Top down first. Hopefully it makes it all the way down again. Oh, bottle ejected. Metal cage ejected the bottle. Didn't have enough to stop it from falling out. Next we got the classic little plastic type water bottle. Bottom first. Way! Oh, it almost came completely out. This is definitely gonna get launched. Away! <laughs> Classic cheap one. Launch the water bottle. Now it's time for my all time favorite cage the specialized rib cage. Bottom first. And launch. Easy. Forward first, now. Launch. <laughs> Held it like a champ. Yes. It's my favorite cage, man. First real test of the 3D printed one. Oh, man. Yo, let me know down below what you think it's gonna do. How long do you think it's gonna actually hold up? Will it hold the bottle with bottom first? Let's see. Oh, no, <laughs> no it didn't. Oh man, broke right on the first test. But still, let, oh, it broke in two spots. Whoa, oh man, that thing shattered. I planned for this. For the last several hours, I've been making this. First one, I printed laying down, so every layer was stacked like this. And if you see where they broke, this one right here broke right where a layer was. And this also, the layers came this way, and it broke right along some of those layers. And one of you mentioned that I should have printed it standing up like this with supports. So now I want to see if this is better. 3D, V2, take two. Head down first. Did not hold the bottle in. Okay. But it's still in one piece, so we can move on to test number two. Test number one tested forward and back, but now test number two, we're gonna see how well it keeps it from just ejecting out. So I'm gonna put this on the ground. It's gonna fall, and then we'll see which of the cages keep the bottle in. Straight up and drop it. Let's see how well it does. Still held it. Okay. Oh, but it bent. Look at how badly it bent. Yeah, no, it was not like that before. Ooh, but with the metal, you can bend it back. And it still did hold it in all the way up. That's, that's impressive, metal. I've got a feeling the 3D printed one will not last this test. Cheap plastic, all the way up. Take one. <laughs> <laughs> No shot. Cheap plastic did not make the cut. Specialized rib cage, my favorite. Let's see if it lasts from all the way up. Come on, baby. I believe in you. Easy. Took it like a champ. Way to go. Next. 3D printed from all the way up. Oh, yeah.
Yeah! Did you break? Yeah! I freaking did it! <laughs> Yo, I did not think it would hold on to that one. Whoa! It didn't even like come close to loose. Way to go! Yes! Yo, one thing to note is how inexpensive this thing is. I'll reveal how much this weighs and how much it costs at the end for me to make, but just know it is like orders of magnitude less than all of these other cages. Oh, and note, we're skipping the fiddlock on this one. I know this is gonna work well, so we're going to the next test. Oh, that'll work, all right. Okay, test number one, we tested how well it keeps the bottle in forward and back this way. Test number two, we hit back and see if it kept it from flying out. Now, we're flipping it around and we're gonna see if it can keep the bottle from being ejected forward. So we're gonna land, hit on the kitty litter and see if it'll hold the bottle in. This, I don't think this stands a chance. But let's see, drop test. We're gonna go from all the way up. We're starting to... Oh, no chance. No shot, oh man. Maybe 45 degree-ish angle. And lunch. Nada. I don't think many are gonna be able to stand up to this though. Metal cannot deal with the full drop. Let's see if others can. No regular plastic bottle. I can already tell you this thing is not gonna hold up at all. But we must try for science. <laughs> I'm not, no, it failed. They're not even close. Moving on. Okay, rib cage time. Yo, this is my favorite water bottle. It has never had a bottle launch on me. No matter what chunky stuff I've gone over, this has been able to hold it. I think it's gonna pass this test. Come on, Ribby. Oh, no! No! No way! Oh, this is horrible. Tragic. Absolutely no. Oh, I talked you up and everything. No. Ah, oh, damn. I am, that hurts. Oh, man. To help me recoup some of the losses I've had for your entertainment. Please share this with a friend. Share this video, share the profile, and consider joining the Patreon, because that helps a lot. So I can continue making videos like this, because damn, this is my favorite bottle cage. To be honest, like full transparency, this is the second cage that I've broken. Can you see the other one right there? This is the break. I was on the Great Divide, and this was on the bottom of my bike, on the bottom of the gravel bike, and after two weeks of you know, holding up a bottle full of liquid on the bottom there, constantly doing this, it snapped a little there. Not as catastrophically as this, but it did snap. This is the second one it snapped. But I mean, I feel like those are extenuating circumstances. I still absolutely love this and I would gladly buy another one unless the 3D printed one survives this. We still haven't even gotten to the real torture test yet. This was the, the precursor to the torture. Wow, I did not think that would shatter. Okay, 3D, you're up. All right, predictions down below. Do you think this is gonna hold the bottle? And regardless if you say yes or no, do you think it's going to break? I can't believe that one shattered like it did. That just exploded, damn. Ready? Come on, baby, don't feel me set. Oh, I'm so nervous, go. Oh! It didn't break! <laughs> it didn't break! Yeah! Yo, let's go! I'm so pumped that didn't break. Okay, let's see. 45-ish degree angle. Will it hold it in? I think about there. Oh, it did! <laughs> Yo, let's go! That's better than the metal one. Better, way better than the plastic one. And it survived the fall. Damn, way to go! Yo, that's insane! That's insane! Whoa, that is blowing my mind. I still haven't told you how much this costs. I still haven't told you how much this costs. That's wild, man. Yo, let's go. 
I didn't think it stood a chance, to be honest. Like, not even a chance in hell that this thing would be able to compete with the ribcage. But it's doing it. And it beat it in this test because it didn't snap. This thing did a good job of holding on the bottle. So good that it broke. So is that a good part? Is that a fault? I don't know, but man, I'm so pumped with that. That's so cool. Okay, torture test number four is going to be the same as number three, but instead of a 16 inch lever arm that we're attaching to my little contraption, it's going to be an eight foot one. Final test, the ultimate torture. Fade lock is up first. We're gonna take it all the way up. Whoa. Oh, that's so much heavier. This thing is four feet tall, plus a couple inches. So we're going all the way four feet and change with the drop. Three, two, one. Oh, it came off. <gasps> Can you see that I broke the fidlock? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that was possible. Well, I um, I mean, I wasn't wrong. This, this isn't what failed, it wasn't this part, but geez, the connection to the, I've had this thing for years. Oh man, dude, but if the fidlock broke, no other bottle stands a chance. That was from four and change feet. That was really hot. Whoa. Okay, thinking about this a little bit, I'm, um, I've already broken my favorite bottle cage. I've already broken a cage I've had for years with the Fidlock. I don't want to keep breaking bottle cages. I don't want to be left with nothing, All right, but we have to try. That's for the video. If you like what you're seeing, please share this with someone. Go ahead and join Patreon if you can to keep supporting a lot more stuff like this because there's going to be more things like this that are gonna be costly, but hopefully really fun to see. All right, so in that spirit, let's keep breaking things. I'm not doing four feet. I'm gonna start at one and work up until I can't hold the bottle anymore, but. All right, Metal, you're up next. I'm gonna let the rain fall. I'll be all you need and more. Here is a one foot drop. Ready, set. Go. It held. Okay. Foot and a half drop. Three, two, one. Yeah, okay. Stop that 16, but it held at a foot. I did not think it would do that. Good news is the metal didn't break, but it only held it at 12 inches. Where's the other cheap little plastic cage? We'll try that and then we'll end with the 3D. See how high up the 3D printed one can go before it lets go of the bottle or it breaks. Happy? Dude, I, I don't, I just don't like you anymore, bottle cage. It's, I wanna say it's not personal, but it's definitely personal. 12 inches off, three, two, one, go. Yep. Figured. Useless. Well, that didn't work. Oh, baby, it's raining. Okay, 3D, if you can do 12 inches, you beat all the other plastic bottles. You're still in the competition. If you beat 16 inches, then you beat everything else. Well, except the Fidlock. I think the Fidlock could have done 16. Okay, 12 inches off of this. We go up to 27. Drop it in three, two, one. Yeah, baby! Dude, you're a beast! Oh my gosh, you're a freaking beast! I can't believe that. That's a, all right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go until you drop it. Please don't break, but drop it. Wow, that's freaking amazing. This is your time to shine. You versus the world. 
if you get, if you hold the bottle in at this, you beat even the metal cage. Drop it in three, two, one. That's it. That's it. Undeniably. Undeniable. It didn't break when the specialized rib cage did. It held it in when the metal one or the other plastic one couldn't. Bro. I am mind blown right now. Oh my gosh, you freaking beast. Okay. That oh man. You beast. That is incredible that just in a couple hours in my basement for a dollar and seven cents, let me just make sure how much this costs. Let me make sure. Check it out. This is the exact file that I just used to print this, right? With all the supports and everything. Here, cost one dollar and eleven cents. One dollar and eleven cents of filament to print this. 44 grams for the metal. Cheap plastic. 40 grams, specialized rib cage, 34 grams, we keep going down. Will this beat it? Will this beat it? 27. <laughs> it's almost 10 grams lighter than this. Insane. Shocked, absolutely shocked at how that turned out. It outlasted all of these. This one bent, this one didn't hold anything. This one snapped, but this one didn't. Yeah. And it's lighter than all of them too. And I could even make it lighter because I put 40% infill, you can make it, you can lower that as much as you want to. That's like, ugh. if you saw the last, if you saw my video last week where I talked about how I was blown away at how well it held the bottles, still even then there was this thing in the back of my mind where it's like, but I'm not actually gonna trust that like on a long ride or a race. Now, in one day I can make enough to fill all of my bikes up and just have these, and if it breaks or snaps or something, I can just, dude, let me know in the comments down below what you thought was gonna happen, and if you're surprised how well that this thing did, because I'm still speechless. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure to share this with a friend who you think would enjoy watching this, and definitely someone who you thought was like a 3D printing naysayer. Show them this video, and then let me know what they say in the comments down below. Yo, insane, dude. Hasta la próxima, mi gente, nos vemos.